11th year on the planet is turning out to be quite an adventure. I've gone from singing in the school choir to recording an album, and now I'm on my way to Africa to experience even more of the big wide world. I'm going on a jumbo jet, and I've never been on one before, and so I'm very excited to see what it's going to be like. I'm travelling over 5,000 miles from my home, near Liverpool, to Free State in South Africa, where Save the Children have invited me to visit one of the many communities they help in the area. When we're on the journey to the hotel here, um, we passed the shanty town. I just thought to myself, how would, how would I cope if I had to live in that? Because I wouldn't have any, like, taps with fresh water in it. I wouldn't have a car to take me to school. In a way, it's sort of seeing life in a different point of view. Yeah, it was quite um, sad in a way. Kwa Kwa is a town in need. Whoa, are they trying to sell clothes there? Work is scarce and the people are really poor. Families are struggling to survive. Today we're going to a, a little boy's house who's the same age as me and um, I'm quite excited. Hi, I'm Jack. Hey, I'm Tio. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My mother, Susan. Nice to meet you. Hi. Tio lives in a small shack with his sister, mum and gran. His dad, like so many here, is living and working away from the family. What's it like living here? And I love it. Okay. And I like jumping on the bed. And my father works at Pretoria Effect. So he comes home on the room. Yes. And he does have a toilet. Oh, okay. Sometimes I'm thinking, oh, I want a bigger room. But the little boy had to share a room, which wasn't that big, with four people. Now it just made me think I'm extremely lucky. School here is a bit more familiar to me. Our lesson today is going to be based on functions and relationships. Yes, that's me in a maths lesson and me playing footy. And of course, there's choir practice, which is extra exciting because these girls will be singing on one of my songs. Away from school, the children here have a lot more to worry about than we do at home. So Save the Children is training pupils to support each other. Hi, I'm Jack. Hello. Hello. What do you do in the children's committee? Uh, we donate clothes and then give to those who are vulnerable and we are taught to care for others. Here in our country, there are not many jobs so some parents are not working. So they can't afford to buy food at home, so we try our best to give them food. Food and clothing help in the short term, but education is the surest way to a better future. We are taught that education is the key to success. So we, we see ourselves like without education we are nothing. The background of my family is not good. I want to learn every day. I make sure I come to school and learn. So I want to take that chance I have to learn and change my, f my whole family's future and my future. As well as supporting the older kids, Save the Children also help little ones like Abulile with reading. Paraffin, but paraffin was finished. Cut and tear in half. Look at the little seed. I've spoken to so many children here whose lives are much more difficult than mine and it's made me realise how important it is to give them a future. And that's just what Save the Children is doing here.